Welcome into the PFF Studios. Austin Gale here with Mike Renner, the host of the Two for One Drafts podcast. We are continuing our draft profile series. We're on to Grant Delpit of LSU. PFF's top safety on the board has a bit of a missed tackle problem. We've talked about that a ton, but this guy's range, this guy's instincts, character, all through the roof. Yeah, I mean, this guy started as a true freshman at LSU at safety. He's already the next three years for them. As a sophomore, was really his breakout year. Five picks, seven pass breakups that year. What he can do in coverage is what you want from a modern yep. safety. Anywhere you want him to line up, he's going to get the job done and has that playmaking ability that really you can't coach. So that's why he's the number one safety on our board. That thing's not going to change until draft that. Versatility, playmaking ability, there are a lot of positives in Grand Delpit's game. Can you speak to those? Yeah, like I said, he has rare playmaking ability. He's you know had ball production each of the last two years. At six foot three, he's really tall for a safety and has that sort of tight end eraser type of body where if you're a man heavy team, you can go throw him on an opposing tight end. If they have that, it's a mismatch weapon. He's not gonna cede any ground against opposing tight ends. He can go cover the slot and make plays from deep. That's what we've seen from him over the course of his career. Just such a smooth player. He might not be your explo super explosive athlete, but he just glides across the football field, similar to you know former LSU safety Jamal Adams, where Jamal Adams didn't test off the charts, but like that dude in coverage, He's not going to get beaten too often. Moving to the negatives in Grand Delvet's game, I know you're going to bring up the missed tackles. It's <laughs> obvious there, but are there other things in his game that kind of have you, you know, have reservations with him? Yeah, there are other things. Uh, we'll start with the missed tackles because they are such a huge <laughs> problem. What, if people that are down on him are down on him because he's probably the worst tackling safety in this draft class in terms of like the guys who are reasonably top yeah. safeties. Missed over a quarter of his tackles this past year. Now, the tape this past year was hampered by an ankle injury. You could see that. That was a problem. But even going back to 2018, he missed a fifth of his tackles that season. So it's a, it's a consistent problem. It's going to be a problem in the NFL, but it's a problem that we've seen guys clean up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, As time goes on, he has all the sort of range, uh, length, size to clean it up, and I think he could in the coming time. But right out the gate, it's probably going to be a problem. While he's tall, he's not particularly long, and so he's not – your you know, sort of window guy can shut down windows. And while he's versatile in coverage, he's not a guy that you want in the box. Like mm -hmm. He's not going to play run defense for you. He's not going to take on blocks. That's not his game. He is uh, not a sort of physical player. He's more of a finesse guy. But I think that's the way the safety position is going nowadays. Physical players are great, but the guys that can do a lot of things in coverage are the ones that have the real value. With Grant Delbert's character, I can already tell his rookie year he's going to miss zero tackles and tag us in a tweet. I could see him like getting much better and then finding a way to get back at us. But right Right now, it is a problem. All right, let's dive into a player comparison, NFL player comparison for Grant Delpit. I think you got to go back a ways for this. Tall safeties, uh, there's not a lot of them mm -hmm. in the NFL. Guys, they're six foot three with legit range. We can go back to Kerry Rhodes wow. uh, of you know Jets, Cardinals, was all over the NFL for a while there, but productive wherever he went and a guy who could cover a lot of ground on the back end, but then come down and play coverage in the box as well. So uh, again, not a lot of guys with Grant Delpit's skill set at the safety position in today's NFL. All right, I know he's got the missed tackle problem, range, athleticism. What's the bottom line for Grant Delpit? The bottom line is coverage ability. Uh, that's what you're paying for at the safety position that's what you're paying for anything outside of you know the defensive line on defense mm -hmm. guys that can cover ground guys that are versatile in coverage are the ones that get paid in free agency and I think that is what Grant Elpin brings to the table you're gonna have to live with some you know yeah. negatives <laughs> he's not gonna be some other safeties in this class are more complete sort of players in quotation marks but in terms of what he can do in coverage no one else holds a candle to him in this draft class you want to get rid of me and get back to more great PFF YouTube content? All you have to do is push that button right there and subscribe. Thanks for watching.